today we have with us Michael Delaney, who is the BIM manager from UC Health. And he's going to be talking to us about how he used Archibus to centralize and standardize all of the facility data for the 12 hospitals within the UC Health healthcare system, amongst many other items. So thank you, Mike, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. So we'll go ahead and get started here. My, my first question to you is, what challenges were you trying to solve for? When I came on board, it was a new position, building information modeling manager for UC Health in 2015. And we have three regions and the information for our facilities was spread out over multiple servers. It is on spreadsheets, it's on drawings. Some of it was the knowledge in some people's heads and we had five hospitals. And five years later, via acquisitions and new construction, we're up to 12 hospitals. So we've more than doubled in the five years that I've been here. We've also have about a dozen, maybe 18 freestanding emergency rooms. Those were all in Revit as well. So I was able to input those into Archibus. So we now have those in there uh, and we've added maybe two or three medical office buildings and those are also in Archibus now. So just in the span of five years, we've more than doubled our count of facilities and square footage. Yeah, I think we're about 6 million square feet and when all of a sudden none, will probably be 10 million or more square feet. So we had a, a big problem with managing all of our information. I was a little bit familiar with Archibus and I wanted to centralize all of our data. I wanted to standardize our data and we have some reporting that's required for the Centers for Medicaid Medicare Services and that was being done in a manual way. So there was many challenges with this. I think one of the biggest uh, little war story here was someone was asking for a facility, information on a facility in our North region, and I didn't know where it was. And I reached out to the president and his admin, and they didn't know anything about the building. I said, hmm, this is kind of, kind of bad that we have all these buildings and we're not sure where they are and what region they're in or any information like that. So I said, we need to standardize on a integrated workspace management system so we can find these buildings quickly and standardize the types of rooms and departments and make it easier to search for information. All of our architectural deliverables now are in Revit and it integrates very well with Archibus. Um, the Revit models have um, a lot of data that's inherent to them. Um, if you click on a room object, it, the square footage is automatically calculated, so we don't have to polyline or anything like that anymore. We have limited employee resources here, so again, trying to leverage the best application and the most productive, which is Revit. And again, that integrates really well with Archibus. We need a better way to conduct our Centers for Medicaid Medicare Services reporting, which I, I mentioned earlier. We also now have a request from our clinical director where she wants to barcode clinical furnishings, major clinical furnishings, because sometimes they break or they get moved and sometimes they'll end up in the storage area and we're not sure where they belong. So she wants to be able to put barcodes on there, scan it with Archibus and figure out where this clinical furnishing came from and why is it here so we can better manage that. And then we're also in trying to input all our employees into the system so we can assign them to a space. And that's becoming a lot more critical now with COVID-19. We are having more employees work from home, but we need to set up hoteling spaces for them to come in, shared spaces. So we see Archibus being beneficial for that as well. And then another thing is with our Centers for Medicaid, Medicare Services reporting, we have instances where we will move an employee. The department they belong to may differ from the department that the space owns. And we want to see where the department number of the employee and the department number of the space differ. And that helps us with our Medicaid, Medicare services reporting. That is quite a long list of items to take on. So which applications or processes did you implement to address these challenges? So we're using our space inventory and performance module, personnel and occupancy module. We're using the smart client extension for AutoCAD and Revit, which establishes the link between Revit and Archibus. We also had our vendor ASCRT 
develop some specific solutions for us that were not uh, out of the box ARCABUS, chiefly the Centers for Medicaid, Medicare Services reporting. They developed a script that does our calculations for us. That is so great. And what was the outcome or results that you would like to share of implementing these applications and processes? I'm the person that's tasked with maintaining the Revit models and also for maintaining ARCABUS. And there's a lot of benefits that we're seeing beyond just the CMS reporting. We can quickly find data that we previously could not find earlier. So when COVID-19 broke out, we were got a request of where are all our ICU rooms, where are all our patient rooms, how many do we have, what building are they located in. And if I did that strictly in Revit, it'd probably take, I don't know, maybe about a half hour of building. If I did it in AutoCAD, it would probably take in several hours to do. Using Archibus, I was able to come with, with those reports and that data in about five minutes, just you know, filtering it down to those buildings. We recently also just had a, another request for our water usage at two of our inpatient towers. And we're building a third tower. And so we don't have the particular water usage within Archibus, but what they did want to know is, how many exam rooms do we have? How many procedure rooms do we have? How many OR rooms do we have? Patient rooms, so forth and so on. Basically, wherever a patient is horizontal, they wanted a count of that because then they could determine how many sinks and what the water usage would be. So once again, by properly coding all of these rooms and categorizing them and doing a filter, I was able to come up with that data probably in about 45 minutes. So that was extremely helpful the person requesting it was extremely happy with that as well. So we have more accurate reporting, especially with our CMS reporting compared to the way we used to do it, which was polyline tracing departments and AutoCAD and then getting the square footage and then transferring that manually into a spreadsheet and then putting in the proper department number. That was prone to error. So we're definitely a lot more accurate using Revit with Archibus and using those scripted calculations. Our data is normalized. So again, when I was talking about trying to find all these rooms for uh, the water usage request, the normalized data definitely helped that. We now have centralized data. It's all in one place. I don't have to go into the servers and the other regions. I don't have to call people for information. We can also find employees, find rooms. I find this uh, extremely helpful. We're also color coding our spaces by numerous criteria. And you know, we have the uh, auto-calculated reporting with ProRadium, which is with our CMS calculations. So it sounds like you were able to accomplish everything on your list. That's great. Yeah, and it's expanding. We'll be implementing our move management as well. We do numerous relocations and moves, and we need a better way to track that. Right now, it's being done in AutoCAD and spreadsheets and then that has to be transferred over manually into Archibus and we want to get away from that. We want to do it all within Archibus so we don't have to do any more of that transferring of, of data. As of today, we have five buildings at our main campus within Archibus, a newly completed hospital, uh, Highlands Ranch, the Stedman Hawkins Sports Medicine Clinic, which takes patients from around the world, community hospital called uh, Broomfield, a, another hospital that just opened last year as well, which is really another hospital which opened uh, in 16, that's Long's Peak. And then we are now putting two of our major hospitals in our north region, their older legacy buildings in the Archibus and the finance team, and they're itching to get those into Archibus so that we can do the CMS reporting. One of the things our finance people like now is with using Archibus, our reporting is standardized, so, um, which is non-standardized previously with each region doing its own thing. So now we'll have standardized reporting that our finance team can use, and they're pretty happy about that. One more thing I can add, we are using the mobile application, and we're able to walk and do our surveys in real time and update those surveys. We just had a request um, to have our Laprino office building, which is 10 stories, surveyed. And this came down from this chief operating officer. He has three fellows that are working for him, basically interns. 
So I showed them how to do the surveys and I showed them how to do it both on the web version and on the mobile app. And one of the nice things about the mobile app is platform neutral. So I can either use it Apple iOS or I can use it with Google Droid. So pretty happy with using the mobile application. It's pretty handy and it's great that, you know, we're not tied to just either Android or to um, iOS. I think the next thing is once we get all of our major facilities in to Archibus, all our own facilities, then we'll start tackling our leased facilities. Um, and that's a little bit harder because we don't necessarily have drawings on our leased facilities, and they'd have to be put in from scratch into Archibus. But that's the overall plan and where we hope to go. That's great. I'm glad we were able to give you a more holistic view of your facilities. We also have on the line Steve Pogoloff and Jane Bullock from ASCRT. Steve and Jane, would you like to add anything to what Michael said? Yeah, I'd like to say that it's been a joy uh, working with Mike through this adventure, and we're looking forward to continuing with him. He is such an avid learner, imaginative thinker, and great partner. Besides uh, being a go-to person in the archivist community for his experience with using Revit, he really works well with us in explaining clearly what he wants, how to achieve it at a modest cost, and having us deliver that. So you've heard some of the examples of that. And so they're building quite a system. And, and Mike also is, has become such a fan of archivists, as you can hear, that he continues to promote it in other areas of the organization. So thank you, Mike. Thank you, Steve, for the kind words. And I'd be uh, remiss if I didn't mention that we also have a consultant here, Nancy Fritch, and she's been down this path out here in Colorado twice now. So she's been instrumental in helping me explain what I need and want to the ASCRT team, who's been you know, more than helpful and will bend over backwards to help me as well. So it's been a really great collaborative partnership and really look forward to more of it and leveraging Archibus to its fullest extent. I just want to say thanks, Mike, for sharing your story at UC Health. And I think more than anything else, I like to hear how Archibus has saved your staff and yourself and people at UC Health a lot of time and effort in that you're able to, especially during this time of COVID-19, you're able to, to utilize Archibus to produce information that you need very quickly. So thank you again for sharing the way that you've used Archibus. Thank you, Jane. Look forward to more collaboration. Thank you again, Mike and Steve and Jane for, for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks. You too. Thank you. Thank you.